There is only one thing better than opening a new toy as a child. That's getting paid big money for it as an adult. Cyborg from Superpowers, which is like the Batman characters, Batman, Superman, you know. Uh, that was probably about $3.99 when it came out. That is selling in our store for $1,500. Daniel Rivera, toy lover and owner of Misfit Toys in Montrose, says even if you don't know anything about vintage toys, there are things you can do before stopping by his store to guarantee the best offer. He says if the toy is incomplete or dirty, the price goes down. It could just be a matter of just dusting the toys off. Uh, you definitely don't want to use anything with alcohol. Uh, some of these toys are so old that the paint, you know, powderizes uh, after years and you might just wipe off some paint. That wouldn't be good. Presentation also matters. There are companies that will reproduce the original box your toy came in. Bring your toy inside the box and it can bump the price up by $130. Daniel says his shop has a simple policy. They'll take all or nothing of what you bring in. That includes boxes of toy parts. He says sometimes the weapons or accessories can be even more valuable than the characters themselves. He-Man, for example, will run about $10, like with no uh, armor. Once you throw on his sword, his axe, his shield, and his body armor, he's $50. Rivera says on average, his shop spends at least 5,000 whopping dollars a week buying people's toys.